Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Rob Satchum. I have a little agency called Feedback Ranch, and I help small businesses drive leads, fill their sales funnel, and win online. And we do construction, home services, businesses, real estate. And uh, yeah, this video is all about Home Advisor, Angie's List, Thumbtack, but in particular, Home Advisor and Thumbtack for construction businesses, for general contractors, for home services businesses. Are they a good idea? And this is really a review of Angie's List and Home Advisor. Um, I have a couple other videos out there about Angie's List and Home Advisor and whether or not they're good for construction. Here's the number one premise, and then I'm going to give you three real practical um, steps that you can take to make sure that you expand further than Home Advisor and Thumbtack and help protect yourself. So first of all, uh, there's two little premises I want you to think about. First of all, you always have client acquisition costs. One of the fall fallacies that you'll see out there when people complain about Angie's List or are doing a review on Angie's List or Home Advisor is that they're like, hey, I pay money and I get bad leads. You know what? In general, you're going you're gonna to pay a cost to acquire leads and some of those leads are going to be garbage. That being said, I tend to see that people that go to, to Angie's List and Home Advisor are looking for quotes, and when you're looking for quotes, you're looking for price, you're not thinking value, and generally the type of person that often goes there, not always, but I think there's a higher percentage of people that are price-focused, not value-focused, and if you're a company that likes to deliver good value to your customers, that's not the best situation. So right off the bat, there's just the situation of getting quotes, getting bids, is not helpful. Um, the second big principle is, is that you're only good on Home Advisor and Thumbtack if two things happen. If you turn it on, right, you need to be paying to get the leads, A, and then B, you also need to have a lot of reviews. Now, that means that you've been following, you've been doing work, getting reps, and building up your re, your review footprint, right? And uh, if you do that, you'll have all these reviews of your business sitting on their website, right? Um, which isn't bad. It's good to have the main goal of most businesses would be that when people search for um, your service as like a core commercial keyword, so if I'm looking for driveway seal coating, for example, uh, parking lot seal coating, or if I'm looking for anything, when you search that, you'd like your business to pop up on the Google My Business snippet. It'd be good if you popped up like number one or two in the organic, and the idea, wouldn't it be sweet if of the 1,500 searches a month that occur in your sector, you'd be able to intersect. That would be the best. It wouldn't cost you much money. you just organically rank, but it takes a while to get there. And Google and Bing have adopted kind of this, uh, this framework to rank high in their uh, search engine result pages. And one of them is that you would have authority. And one of the ways that you build authority is that you have reviews from third-party aggregators. So what I'm framing up there is, of course, we want to win an organic search. That's the number one choice. Angie's List and Home Advisor intersect in between you and those searchers. That's a problem. But it's also good to have good reviews on those platforms, no matter what, right? Because it's just, it's a third-party good um, review that you can have. In fact, when you search your business name, you'll see that Home Advisor and Thumbtack pop up, okay? So it is good to have, but the main problem is that you are building up their platform rather than your own platform. And what that means is that rather than having your reviews on your website, you're basically building up their web presence and their authority. And you're well, every time you follow up with their clients and do all that, you're helping them. That's not the goal. The goal should be that you develop, um, yes, you get reviews all across third-party platforms, but you also need to invest in your own. So here are three or four specific things that you can do because my principle is it's not bad to grow Home Advisor or Thumbtack. I would push it to be a secondary or even third tier uh, review platform. So here are things that you should do before you get reviews for Home Advisor, Angie's List, Thumbtack, and, and those guys. So first of all, your Google My Business is absolutely critical, okay? So google.com forward slash business, make sure you optimize that, make sure you integrate it into your website, and remember that your website and Google My Business work together to help you intersect with core commercial keywords. There's a whole set of keywords that are local based, and um, they use proximity, and they have an authority factor 
And, and those two factors, proximity to the office and the authority of your overall web footprint will determine whether or not you actually pop up when people search accountant near me, CPA near me, seal coding company near me, um, whatever service, those are just top of mind right now, you're looking for. Um, so there's all these factors that determine whether or not you're an expert, you're authoritative, you're trustworthy, and Google will have you pop up. But in that local snippet, that's critical. So get that set up, work on your website to send signals to your Google My Business. You wanna make sure you have a services section that explain all the services with the core commercial keywords that actually trigger, and get that set up. The second thing you wanna do is be active on there, be posting and making information relevant to those core commercial uh, uh, keywords and then the third thing the most important thing get more reviews than everybody else in your sector if you do that you'll get traffic and you'll close more deals so get re more reviews than everybody else get it filled up so your Google my business is your number one primary thing that you absolutely need to, to dominate and fill out F spend time on that the second one is one I almost hate to talk about because they chaff me a little bit and I, I don't like their business practices but whatever um, you're gonna wanna go on to, well, not these guys, but Bing. So Bing is good, Microsoft's fine. Go to Bing Places and make sure that you fill out your Bing Places ID and you get, it, it's basically the equivalent of Google My Business. Go on there, fill that out, and make sure that it's all set up, okay? And the reason why is because one of the things that Microsoft does is Microsoft works very hard on new Windows machines and Windows 10 machines to make sure that their internet explorers and their searches within Windows are using Bing rather than Google, okay? And anybody who watches somebody who's not super cognizant and isn't like a tech person start to search on their new Windows machine will realize that Windows is very relevant. So make sure that you get Bing Places filled out. Now Bing Places is interesting because they don't have their own review platform and this is where the second most, so Bing coupled with Facebook. So Facebook reviews would be more valuable than getting Thumbtack Home Advisor because when you search on a Windows machine, the Bing places pop up, but it, it basically aggregates multiple different reviews, but right now they're really latching onto Facebook reviews. So I would focus in 2020, right now it's August of 2020, I would be focusing on Google My Business, Bing places tied with Facebook. So those two things take precedence over um, Home Advisor, Thumbtack, Angie's List, and these third parties. Then the next thing that I would do is I would work with us <laughs> and we actually work to develop a review page on your website where people can leave a review and it aggregates your other reviews from around the web and so we can pull from multiple different places. And the idea is that you would house them on your own website with what's called schema markup. And by doing that, you'll basically get these little rich snippet stars in your search engine result pages. But house your own testimonials with reviews and we build systems um, around all of this to help you automatically get reviews and automatically get testimonials to follow up with your customers. Now, in some businesses you have you know hundreds a week and some of them you have hundreds a year or dozens a year so the the flow to get reviews and testimonials needs to be customized for you but we use automation tools um, true SMS texting tools to gently follow up with people and ask them for a review it works really well but if you house them on your own website you have a page with reviews and then if you put them on there and you mark it up properly your own website can be a phenomenal place to have your own reviews then I would say I would go on to Yelp. Now Yelp is an interesting thing because here in the Midwest and in certain areas, Yelp is kind of nominal, like people don't use it as much. But out in California and in other areas, Yelp is one of the most primary um, tools that they use to grow their business. Different sectors have um, higher or lower Yelp um, abilities, but Yelp is difficult because you have to be a Yelp reviewer in order to re leave a review. Whereas Google My Business, all you need is a Google. So. If you have a Google or a Gmail account, you can lose, leave a Google review. If you have a Facebook account, you can use a Facebook review. But in Yelp, you actually have to be a Yelp reviewer, which is a little bit different. You need to be active on there. So not all your customers are going to do that. But that's a good platform to um, invest in. After that, I would absolutely invest in getting reviews on Home Advisors, Angie List, Thumbtack. Because um, here's the bottom line. Search your business name, search your Google My Business, and in the search engine result page, you'll find out whether or not they have, um, there's a little box there that have the reviews of other platforms. Google pays attention to those other um, 
those other things. So pay attention to that. Hey, give us a call, feedbackranch.com. We'd love to have a consultation with you. We know how to use Google ads to dominate with your reviews. And uh, God bless, good luck, have a wonderful day. And uh, I tell you what, if any of you are out there and you're trying to get your business started, give me a call. I love doing consulting calls as well. God bless.